Um, in this video, basically what I want to do is I want to talk about knowledge with respect to science and um, what scientific knowledge is and what non-scientific knowledge is. Um, I talked a little bit about this with with respect to, to uh, ethics and morality and ethical na naturalism and, you know, um, in, in, in the philosophy of science, which... This is an awesome anthology by Boyd, Gasper, and Trout. I think is an awesome one. Has a lot of great, great, great stuff in it. Um, I'm currently writing a writing sample for, for for grad school that has to do with with uh, philosophy of science. Um, that's why I'm kind of talking about more of this stuff on my channel here. Um, but um, I think that in in the philosophy of science we have to differentiate between knowledge that is scientific and knowledge that is non scientific scientific and figure out um, what we have to clarify knowledge that that we can possibly get or knowledge that we have that is scientific clarify that stuff and move towards gaining more of that and figure out what is non -sci non scientific and throw all of that out and it's kind of like a bit of a logical log positivistic stance because you know the, the the Vienna Circle and the positivists like like uh, Rudolf Carnap and Schlick and and uh, Neurath and uh, A or even they were like well we have to clarify things that are that are meaningful and and the, and the, and the, and, the, and that we can verify and or and or falsify and and figure out what is meaningless and trash all all of that so and I, I I'm gonna totally agree agree with that because. Knowledge, possible knowledge that is that is scientific, is stuff that we can either verify or falsify depending on the how and what of your philosophy of science, basically. Because, you know, whether you're a deductivist or a in, or inductivist, you know, or or you believe in or you deal or, or you deal with um, laws via co corroboration, like uh, Karl Popper, just the, the how of your of your philosophy of science. Is how you gain more of that, but I think a, a big, really, a really important thing is to figure out what we can verify or falsify or corroborate, and figure out what we can't. Figure out the non-scientific things and trash all of that. And um, I think I think that one thing that I think is non-scientific is you know, um, ethical truths or and moral truths. I think that whether we should lie lie to someone or not, or whether whether we should act a certain way, isn't something that isn't something that, that we can verify or, or falsify. And Carnap in his in his uh, article, the elimination of, of metaphysics through the logical analysis of language, states that um, we have to throw out speculative philosophy, um, philosophy of value, like. Ethics and aesthetics, and there's a couple other ones, but and all basically all 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 metaphysics and, the, and theology because we can't verify or falsify it. Um, he's he was mostly talking about verif verification. Um, Carnap was. Um, so, in my personal opinion, and in the opinion in the opinion of you know um, most fl most fl fl most fl of the fl of the fl philosophy of science. It's about clarifying what is what is sci sci scientific and verifiable um, and falsifiable. Well, falsifiable um, in that you know we can figure out f figure out whether it's true or not because things that aren't that are non that are non -sci scientific aren't f aren't falsifiable. They are meaningless, as um, a, a logical positivist would would say. We can't give a truth a true or false val or true or, or false value to it. Because it, is, it it asserts nothing and it's and it's mean, and it's, mean, and it's meaningless basically. It, it's it's a pseudo statement, if you, if you will. So that's just kind of this is a bit of a logical a logic positivistic thing, positivistic thing um, about clarifying what's what's mean, mean, meaningful and growing upon that and developing upon that. And, th f f f and figuring out what is what is me me meaningless, and trashing all all of that. So, uh, th thank you. If you if you think I've messed up something, or if we, or if you think I have a wrong 
opinion or way wrong or wrong way of looking at things, or if you, or if you have a question, please comment below. I'd love to discuss with you, and thank you.